Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I had to actually take a phone call there. Uh, so we have a freighter coming in here that's delivering something to us, I'm sure. The station hauler's already picked up Claytronics, which is awesome, uh, and the amount that we need. And then this high-tech Hermes Vanguard is bringing haul parts into us. 591. Um, which will get us started, but still not quite enough to do everything. Very cool. Okay. So I think what we'll do here is... Why don't we... If I keep adding more modules on here whilst... The builders here, does he keep working on them for us or does he just work on the stuff that we originally did? I don't know. Uh, so what I'm going to do is let's go to storage. And we're going to put a liquid storage. Here. We need to flip it around this way. And we're going to put a solid storage on the other side. Let's turn it um, that way. There we go. Okay, so we got those in place. Uh, confirm module changes. Okay, now for our water plant, I think we'll build that out the other side of here. So let's go back to production modules and grab the water plant. Uh, and we want it to go That's putting it up on the top thing. I wanted it on the side thing. Oh, maybe you can't do that. It doesn't have a, a side connection? Okay, so let's, it looks like you can only connect those on top connectors. Well, that's odd. Um, I don't know how many of these we would actually want on here. Just trying to think about how I want to do this then, if we can only go on, on the top. It'll go there. Maybe we want to turn it then this way. Hmm. I'm wondering if if we might want to go up higher with this just because of the way that it sticks out so if we go back to other modules and grab a vertical uh, I want that to be straight how do I get it to be perfectly oh there we go zero zero degrees gotcha okay uh, right there okay and then pop that right there maybe even do another one 
um, again, zero degrees. That's not the same angle as the other one. All right, hold on. Pull that off for a second. Grab this one again. Is there a way that I can... Oh, no. I'm tilting it the wrong direction. Here, undo. That's right. I keep forgetting we have an undo. Okay, grab the blue and set that to zero degrees. I think that's straight. Okay. So why with this one... I don't I don't know if that's lined up perfectly, but maybe it is. I don't think it is. I think it's off a little bit. It needs to be more like this, but that's not the same angle as the other one. That's just really bizarre, man. It looks more like it needs to be You'd think when it snaps, it would just snap at the same exact angle. But if we look at this top down and we line up this edge with that edge there, it's not square. Of course, I guess the bottom one isn't either then for that matter. So that means this thing is not at exactly zero degrees. Um, how do we know what degree it is at? It looks kind of like it's maybe minus three if we just eyeball it. That's minus one. Well, okay, here again, zero degrees looks correct. Or does it? Maybe it's zero degrees in relation to what it's connecting to. Because now that looks correct. But then if we take this guy, um, okay, if we take this guy, and pop it on there. It's not square. That is just weird, man. Or is it? Is it's just is it just the angle that I'm looking at it? I mean, how do we get this whole thing? How do we know what our our angle is just in general, right? I don't see any degree thingy here that's showing me what angle we're looking at this at. Because this seems more like fifty degrees. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to sell. Hard to say. Once again, are you sure you want to discard? Yes. We got a ship here that's stuck, 
and the thrusters are driving me absolutely insane and I didn't even realize it until I just now realized it. Oh. Um, let's go to the manager's office. It'll be quieter there. That's better. Okay. Jeez Louise. All right, let's try this again. Let's go to plan build. So we committed our our storage thingies. Um, it looks like we still have our construction vessel, which is good. I wish I could tell what angle, you know, what the degrees are on this, but I don't see any argon connection structure. Base connection structure, cross connection. This. Yeah, it doesn't, it, it's being built right now, uh, but it doesn't tell me what angle it's at. Okay, so let's try this again. Let's go with the vertical extension and see right now it's at a right angle that's what it comes in as and we could even connect it here at a right angle if we wanted to I kind of want it to be lined up though with the module okay our station haulers getting the remaining claytronics that we need so if we pop that there, and we just eyeball this as best as we can, um, it's very difficult to do this perfectly though. I would say it needs to go, yeah, it says zero degrees, okay. And it looks correct at the moment. But that zero degrees has got to be relative to this cross connector. All right, confirm that module change. Okay, now let's grab another one and pop that there. and make it see this one doesn't go zero degrees unless I need to am I just flipping it the wrong direction because zero degrees on this is relative to the station not to this extension so maybe we have to wait till it's built first oh I bet you that's what we have to do we have to wait till it's built first in order to get the next one to be lined up. Oh, actually, you know what? I just remembered something. Uh, do you want to discard the current changes? Yes. Oh, wait. No. Sorry. I thought it meant just the one change. Go back to here. Building upkeep. Plan built. Okay. So our vertical piece is still there because we committed it. I think what we can actually do is copy this or duplicate it. It's kind of hard to see it. So if we select this, do we right click and copy module? Yeah, that's how we do that. Okay. And now it's at the same angle. Good. Okay. So confirm that module change. And that's going to get the water thingy up above the solar panels here. So now we should be able to take the water thingy and pop that on there. But I want it to... be more like that. At that angle. visually 
I mean, I can't really tell if it's lined up with this. Almost like it needs to... Well, again, it says zero degrees. So I guess it's lined up. Um, okay. Confirm module changes. So that gets the water hooked up. And then what I'll probably do if we add another one is do two more verticals going down and then put another one pointing off that direction too. But we also have room if we want to to put another solar panel also on this side because I think there's enough clearance. In fact, if we just grab this, uh, put that there and then move it over here. Put it that direction ish. Trying to get it to pop in place there. Reset rotation. Okay. And then wrap it around this way. There. So yeah, it looks like it's going to let me attach that there later. Uh, I'm not planning on doing that right now, but uh, for later. Okay, so let's undo this. Reset to top view. Just get rid of that altogether. Okay. Okay, so that gets the, the water module in place. Now we have uh, silicon and refined metal. Now the other thing, can I, I can connect another solar panel on the end of this too if I wanted to, right? In fact, if we just click on this and we do copy module. Oh yeah, okay, so we could just go that direction for with more solar panels. Okay, so let's undo that. So now what I want to do is I want to grab the... The refined metal looks like it's maybe kind of the same shape as the water thingy. There, I don't suppose there's any way to connect these guys up to each other, is there? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. I can bring it up a little bit and then over a little bit. Um, actually, down a little bit more there. Yeah, it's got to have a top-down connection. I was asked to drop my cargo. Don't do it. Just run away. Quit bogging me with commands that I've already given you. Yeah, that's not going to connect anywhere along in there. Okay, so let's undo that. So this is water and solar. Um, we could maybe do food over here. See, this is going to be our high tech module. This was going to, I was going to have this be our food module, but maybe what we do instead is we build our refineries over off of this node. Um, so if we're going to do that, we need to go other modules. And once again, make these connections here. Turn this around this way. And then pop that there. Do a cross piece. Just like before. Uh, I was asked to drop my cargo. We need to get it more or less lined up with that. Okay, good. Um, and then... Let's commit or confirm those changes. See, it's good. As long as we have the funding to do this, 
It's good to keep doing this now because the building buildership is still here. You know what I think I might need to do though is Does the station have all the funding that it needs to keep buying this stuff since I've added a lot more to it now? I don't know the answer to that. Planned and changed modules. Managed by offers. Yeah, let's um let's add more more money to this. Because otherwise it's going to run out of money and it, and it won't be able to, our hauler won't be able to go get, keep getting the stuff we need. Okay, so now, um, what I want to do next is I want to go back to production modules. And a refined metal, how is this going to connect? So this is another top-down thingy, kind of like the water module um and so that means we want to put it kind of at that angle Okay, now it's given me a zero degree option. Very, uh, very min minimal mouse changes. There we go. Okay, that's zero degrees. Okay, so that gives us the refined metal for ores. Um, is what is the silicon wafer connection? How does that work? Let's put that there and then slide and no we want to slide it over here and we want to rotate it this way okay why doesn't it connect at the end of this I want it to go into to that piece there. Um, it it acts like it wants to connect over here for some reason. Okay, hold. Let's hold off on that. I want to put another one of these pieces in here. Trying to get my camera view set right. Um, all right, hold on. Put that down there. So weird. Okay, let's put it at that angle. And then can we get it to... We've got to bring it up a little higher. I think I keep grab it. There we go. Okay, good. Okay, now can we put the silicon thing at the end of that? Move that over and then slide it. It doesn't. Why doesn't it want to connect on that? I don't understand. Oh, is this also a top down connection? Yeah, I think uh, I think that's what it is. Okay, damn it, damn it, Jim. We could flip it upside down. So we could do this. Uh, no, not that. Grab the red bar, red bar, and flip it this way. Okay, now. 
There we go. Okay. So we can connect it like that. But we want to then rotate it again, I guess, to zero degrees. But if we if we put it at zero, is that lined up? Yeah, I guess it is. Okay. Um, all right, let's uh, confirm these module changes. So that gets us our silicon wafer production and our refined metal production. So the idea is we put refineries over off this, storage will come off of this, utilities will come off of this end, high tech will come off of this once we get high tech going, and this will be docking and habitation. Now, we also purchased the bigger dock, the luxury dock. Um, so, is it possible Let's just put that down there for a second. Um, my question is, can, can I change the existing dock, put the new one in its place without screwing up the station? And I don't know the answer to that. Because I'd like this to go here. Um, all right. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's worry about the dock later. Let's get all the other stuff in place first. So let's undo that. And looks like we have our solar pan panels built now, which is great. Um, let's go back to here and add more money into the pot for all the new stuff that we just added. Okay, so we have water production, solar production, refined metal, and silicon. And then we have, uh, and you know, maybe these little storage containers are not even close to being enough yet either, I don't know. <laughs> it might tell us that in, this, in the logical thingamadoodle. Um, so let's close this menu. And like I said, I think I'm going to wait until we get all, you know, get everything built that we currently have built before I try and figure out the dock situation. Uh, but it looks like our, oh, actually, hold on. If we have that selected, peak fish dock ships, construction budget is good, and it's telling us what it's currently working on. Oh, that's kind of neat. Okay, I like that. All right, our next order of business then is to get, we need to get an ice miner and we need to get a silicon miner. And I think, you know, our traders are making way more money than our miner is. So I think we're gonna stop mining for, se for selling purposes. And we're gonna take our current miner And we're going to, um, go to its behavior tab and we're going to delete that and cancel, basically cancel all of its orders. Um, do I just, do I do that here yet? Remove all orders and assignments. Okay.
and what we're going to do for this now is we're going to rename this ship Station Station or Minor One. Okay. And then we're going to tell it to we right click on this mine for commander alpha I guess okay so that puts that in alpha group so maybe alpha group does alpha group all have to be miners and beta group all have to be like traders probably not And I'm guessing that the manager is going to select what it mines. If that's the case, then we don't need to call it ore miner. We just call it miner and assign three miners, I think. I'm going to assume that's the case. So we're just going to call this station miner one. Okay. And then we're going to go to what what was that? This was a Oh, it no longer tells us what type of ship it is. It you'd, you'd still think it would tell us the model here though. Uh information crew loadout logbook behavior individual instructions. All right, well, I, let's just go back to Talati space here. Um, or we could even look at this other, this place here. And if we go buy ships, medium, we had... Oh, can we not... Do miners here? Those are all just transporter ships. Maybe not. Okay, so I guess we do need to go back to Talati. And I think we bought those in 18 billion. So if we right click this and go buy ships, we want medium and we want the menorah mineral. And we want our OG high preset, I think. Let's just let's look at this again. So for engines, we're doing Mark threes. Dang, that's expensive, man. You know what? I think maybe what we ought to do is is go with pairing it again for more speed. Yeah, I, I like that idea better. Because I'd rather have it get the stuff to the station more quickly and be able to run away from enemy enemies more quickly than have a, a larger hold but be slower and possibly in danger of, you know, getting getting thumped. So uh, let's look over here one more time again. So you don't have any... Yeah, all you have are transporters. Okay, so we're going to have to buy from the Paranid. So let's go to Trinity Sanctum. And we're going to go buy ships. We want medium. And we want the Plutus Miner. Oh, that's weird looking. Um, you know what? Before we commit to this, let's let's just do the comparison thing again. We'll remove all of these. Okay, we want M class and we want to look at the the Plutus mineral miner. 
and let's just start with a high preset. Let's look at the Menorah is what we have now. We know Talati is going to be slower. Yeah, slower. We already know that. A Sunder Gas Miner. I don't know what race that is. Well, you know, that's the other thing, too. It might not That might not even be available to us anyways. So let's just go with what we know is available. So Ar Argon's going to give us... I don't know what Argon's going to give us for miners. I got to go look in Argon space to tell that. Because we have to go with, you know, what's available to us, not what's universally available, which is what the comparison can do. Okay, buy ships. So the Argon miner is the drill. Okay. And the all oh, the Sunder's a gas. Okay. So we want to drill Vanguard for the comparison. Go back to here. Go back to here. Add ship. Medium. Uh, drill Mineral Vanguard. I like to look at that ship a lot better. Um, and again, we're just going to go high preset for the moment. Okay, so we've got Paranid and we got Argon. Let's just add Talati for for the hell of it. Okay, so the Talati is the Menor uh, Manorina Sentinel. Is that what's available to us, or is it the Vanguard that's available to us? See, the thing about Talati is we have a, more than just one wharf. Uh, well, maybe we don't, actually. Maybe we just have the one in 18 billion. Yeah, it looks like we do just have the one in 18 billion. Poor Iana Mazura. <laughs> it's going to be taken over by the by the bad guys um, okay so yeah I guess we do only have this 18 billion option for Talati for a wharf okay so buy ships you have you have Sentinel so you don't have Vanguard for miners okay so let's go here go back to here M Menorah Sentinel Miner. Or Man, Man Arena, sorry. And again, we'll just do a high preset for the comparison. Okay, so here's what we got. As expected, the Plutus is by far the fastest. And it's got a comparable hold to the Argon. However, the drill is just a little tougher. Or, I mean, it's got a little bit better shield. The hull is the same otherwise. But I am, I'm I'm kind of favoring, again, Paranid for the speed. I just don't like the way those look, though. They don't look like a mining ship. But that, in the long run, doesn't really matter a whole lot, I suppose. Okay, yeah, I think we're going to go with Pluter, uh, the, the Plutus. So, now that we've decided that, we want to go back to Trinity Sanctum. And buy ship. Medium. A Plutus Mineral Vanguard. And for the loadout, because this is going to be for our station, I think we're going to we're going to splurge. So the very fastest engine we can put on this is that's 449, 472, 449. So the combat. Okay, so we'll go with that. 
Thrusters, on the other hand, for this ship don't matter, so we're just going to go with the cheapest one. Shields do matter. Um, we're just going to go with the Mark II Paranid for now. I might swap that out for Talati Shields perhaps later on. Uh, software... I don't think we're going to do a docking computer because I probably won't be flying these at all. Um, so we'll just do the cheap versions of the required stuff. I don't think trading computer extension matters for this ship. We do need to make sure it has a mining turret, of course. Or a mining drill. What's the difference between these two? I don't see anything down below here changing. My assumption is that this this has got to have a higher capacity in some way. So we're going to we're going to just go with the Mark II. Unless we can Oh yeah, let's look in the encyclopedia. So the Mark 1 I guess we would do against an unshielded target does two megajoules or no mining damage that's what we're looking at okay 600 megajoules versus 1800 so this one's th is three times as effective uh, in other words it's gonna be able to mine three times faster yeah okay so let's let's definitely go with the mark two then Very good. Okay, turrets. Is do mining turrets? Is that gonna also help them mine faster? I I would assume so. They're not that expensive, so let's just put them on there. All right, we want a captain, and we want a full service crew to make the ship as effective as possible. And I think that's our loadout. So that's just a little over one mil. For a mining ship. I just don't like the way it looks. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I don't think it looks like a mining ship. It looks like a, a passenger transport ship. But, whatever. Okay, so, let's save this. And this is going to be... Um, Plutus... Station... Minor. Okay, add to shopping list. Confirm order. And it's going to need resources to finish it. Okay, so. Uh, what resources does it need? It needs seven advanced electronics. All right, what we're going to do for that then is we're going to grab our courier, which is currently loaded up with energy cells. It says it's a failed order. All right, you know what we're going to do then is we're going to... Remove all orders and assignments. And we're going to tell you to come over to our station and drop off those energy cells. Even though we're already making our own too. Transfer wares with Reaver Industries. Courier Vanguard. Oh. How come it's not letting me... Oh, that's cool. I can select the ships from here. Container, missiles, countermeasures, drones. 
Um. Trade with Reaver Industries? Transfer wares. Okay, it doesn't let us transfer the energy cells as wares, but it looks like it might let us transfer energy cells container. Uh, it said there was no buy order for these. So I don't think that's what we're after either. Okay, close that. Why can't I just... Can I transfer the wares with this? Okay, it has energy cells there. There we go. Okay, confirm. I guess I would, would have a need to have a buy order to put the energy cells in the station as opposed to the the build storage but that's fine um, we need it in the build storage too so okay so what I'll do is uh, once that's done in the build storage then I'll I'll have it pick up those seven electronic thingamadoodles that we need so that we can finish our mining uh, ship and then we're gonna set that mining water uh, for our station I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the Talati Miner for now. Um, yeah. We're just going to keep this for now. What is it doing, though? It's free mining. Searching for resources. Its current role is minor. The default behavior of the ship is currently determined by its commander. Which is the manager of our station, I think. Yeah, because it's assigned to Reaver Industries headquarters. So I guess, is is it looking for ore? Is it looking for silicon? Is it looking for water? I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyway, all right, you guys. Um, I have a feeling like we went way over time with this episode as I'm trying to, you know, as I'm learning and trying to figure out how all this works. But it was a fun episode, too. So I'm going to let you go here, and I'm going to... Wait until uh, I'm going to let all of the current modules be built on our station and make sure, you know, we have the proper ships assigned so that our station's self-sufficient. And once that's kind of up and running in a well-oiled machine in its current configuration, uh, then we will probably start the next episode and figure out what our next move is from there. I might even do a... Um, just let a, f a little more time go by off camera and, you know, let the traders build up more money in the station too before I bring you guys back. But we'll see. We'll see about that. Um, so with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the, uh, the video. And we will see you guys all in the next episode. Bye-bye.